Hello second grade, this is module 2, lesson 4, and our objective today is I can measure various objects using centimeter rulers and meter sticks. So we've been using our centimeter rulers, so I need you to get out your ruler, and I want you to put your finger on the 3 on, the, on your ruler. Find the 3 on your ruler. Put your finger on it. Can you find eight more than three? Go ahead and do that. Okay, so did you find that 11 is eight more than three? Can you write a number sentence for that? Three plus eight equals 11. So using your ruler, how did you use your ruler to go 8 more than 3? Did you have your finger on 3 and then you counted up 8 more? If that's what you did, give yourself a kiss on the brain. That's exactly what you need to do. Okay, so now you need to put your finger on 11. Can you find what is 3 less than 11 using your ruler? Go ahead. Okay, <clears throat> so what did you figure out 3 less than 11? Did you say 8? What is a number sentence that you could use for this problem? Go ahead and write it down. Push pause and then push play when you're done. Did you write down 11 minus 3 equals 8 for your math number sentence? If you did, good job. So how did you figure out this time? You should have put your, number, your finger on the number 11, and then you go backwards because you're going less than. So you go backwards three numbers. Okay, here's another one. Put your finger on 9, and you need to find what is 2 more than 9, and then write your number sentence. Push pause, and then push play when you're done. Did you find that 2 more than 9 is 11? And was your number sentence 9 plus 2 equals 11? If, it is, if that's what you wrote, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Good job. Your next one, put your finger on 11 again. Now I need you to find what is 9 less than 11. 9 less than 11. Push pause and then push play when you're done. Did you say that... 2 is 9 less than 11. And did you write your number sentence as 11 minus 9 equals 2? If you did, good job. Here's your next one. Put your finger on 8. What is 2 more than 8? 2 more than 8. Go ahead, push pause, and then push play when you're done. Did you say that 10 is 2 more than 8? And did you write your number sentence as 8 plus 2 equals 10? Give yourself a kiss on the brain if you did. Good job. Okay, here's another one. Put your finger on 10. What is 8 less than 10? 8 less than 10. Remember, you're writing the number, and then you're writing the number sentence that goes along with that. Push pause, and then push play when you're done. Did you say that 2 is 8 less than 10? You did. Great job. <laughs> what about your number sentence? Did you write 10 minus 8 equals 2? Awesome job. Okay, so here is your application problem. Now remember, the application problems you can do 
however you want to. You can solve it however you feel comfortable with using any strategy that we have learned so far. So our application problem today, word problem says, Caleb has 37 more pennies than Richard. Richard has 40 pennies. Joe has 25 pennies. How many pennies does Caleb have? Okay, you got to think. Are you going to add or subtract to figure out how many Caleb, how many pennies Caleb has? Go ahead and push pause and then push play when you're done solving. All right, so did you write 40 plus 37 to try and solve this? What answer did you get? Did you get 77 pennies? So Caleb has 77 more pennies. Okay, so let's get into our uh, lesson today. It says, look at your meter stick. So your teacher should have given you a meter stick. And I want you to look at that meter stick. How many centimeters are in the meter stick? So here's my meter stick here. And I want you to look and see how many centimeters there are in that meter stick. Look right here. What number is that? There are a hundred centimeters in a meter. Wow, that's a lot of centimeters. So I have this rug and I want to measure how big it is because I want to get a new rug. But if I use the centimeters, it's going to take way too long because centimeters are too small for these big objects like a rug or carpet or any other big objects. So it's just easier to use a centimeter stick or a, a meter stick. So then all I have to say is I can count with the meter stick just like I do with the centimeter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the centimeter stick down here. Now I shrunk this just so that we can see it on our computer screen and our seesaw here. But this is my meter stick. And I need to line up more meter sticks so that I can see how many meters long this rug is. So just like any other measurement, I lined up the end of my meter stick with the rug here. And then I can start laying out more meter sticks. So there's one, there's another, there's another, there's another, and there's another. So let's count how many meter sticks I have here. One, two, three, four, five. So I have five meter sticks laid down here. Now what I need to do is I need to look over here. <coughs> the end of my rug here Here's the end of my fourth meter stick, and I still had a little bit left over here. So I added one more meter stick here to make five meter sticks. But what I need to look at is, is the end of this rug right here, is it closer to the end of the fifth meter stick? Or is it closer to the end of the fourth meter stick? Which is it closest to? Right, it's closer to the end of the fourth meter stick than it is the end of the fifth meter stick. So I can say that this rug is about four meters long. So I know previously when we were doing our centimeter cubes, we um, went up to the biggest number, the bigger number, 
but this time we are estimating, so we need to go to which is closer. And in this case, the rug was closer to the end of the fourth meter stick. So we could say that this is about four meters. All right, so here's this race car. And I want to find out how long this race car is. Now, do you think it's going to be better to use our centimeters for a race car, or is it going to be better to measure with meters? It's probably going to be easier to measure with meters. So let's line up our, our meter sticks here. We've got there, there, there. There's another one, there's another one, there's another one. Okay, so now let's count how many meter sticks we have. One, two three, four, five, six. Now, we need to figure out, is the end of this race car closer to the end of the fifth meter stick here, or is it closer to the end of the sixth meter stick here? I'm going to say, I mean, it's kind of down the middle here, so we're going to say that it is closer to the end of the sixth meter stick. So this race car is six meters long. So again, we're just estimating here because this isn't completely to the end of the sixth or completely into the fifth, but it's closer to the end of the sixth meter stick. Okay, here's a nice table, and I need to find out if it's going to fit in my dining room. So I need to measure this to make sure that it's going to fit in my dining, dining room, or else I won't be able to get it. So I'm going to measure it with my meter sticks here. Let's count how many I have. One, two, three. I have three meter sticks laid down here. Now, here's the end of my table here. Is it closer to the end of the third meter stick, or is it closer to the end of the second meter stick? Write down your answer. Did you say that it's closer to the third meter stick? You are absolutely correct. So we can say that this table is about three meters long. All right, so I've got, I've also got this new bookshelf and I wanna make sure that it's gonna fit on the wall that I wanna put it up against. So I need to measure to see how big this bookshelf is. So let's line up our meter sticks again here. And let's count how many one, two, three meter sticks. And again, I need to look. Is the end of my bookshelf closer to the end of the third meter stick or the second meter stick? Go ahead and write down your answer. Did you write that it is closer to the end of the third meter stick? So we could say that this bookshelf is about three meters long. All right, so I got this new couch also, and I need to make sure that it's going to fit in my living room. So let's measure it. One, two, three, four meter sticks here. And... Again, notice that my first meter stick here is lined up with the edge of my couch. So now I need to look to see, is the edge of this side of the couch closer to the end of the fourth meter stick or closer to the end of the third meter stick? Go ahead and put down your answer. Did you say that this couch is about four meters long? If you did, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Good job. <clears throat> All right. Now, Trey wanted a new swing set. So 
we got a new swing set in the backyard and so we need to make sure that it's going to fit in the same area um, that I was wanting to put it in the backyard. So let's measure how long this swing set is. Let's put our meter sticks up here. All right, let's count one, two, three, four, five meter sticks here. So is it the is it closer to the end of the fifth meter stick or the fourth meter stick? Well, it looks like it's pretty close to the end here to the fifth meter stick. So we could say that this swing set is about five meters long. All right, so now it's your turn. You need to erase your board or your desk completely so that you can answer these questions. So your exit ticket says circle centimeter or CM or M or meter to show which measurement you would use to measure the length of each object. So would it makes more sense to measure the length of a train with a centimeter or a meter? How about an envelope? Would it be easier to make more sense if you measured it with a centimeter or a meter? And the length of a house, would you measure it with a centimeter or a meter? And then number two, it says, would it make more would it take more meters or more centimeters to measure the length of a playground? Explain your answer. Go ahead and finish this up and then seesaw your answers to your teacher. You, now you don't have to write all of this out. You can just write A and then your answer, B, your answer, C, your answer, and then write number two and your answer. Good luck.